The more you see it, the tougher it is to watch. That's why Atlanta News First is not showing the moment DeMar Hamlin collapsed on live TV during Monday Night Football. Today we learn the Bills-Bangles game will not resume this week. And tonight, the mysterious and scary circumstances around his collapse are coming to light. Atlanta News First, Don Shipman, he's live outside Grady Hospital. And Don, DeMar Hamlin, he was taken to a level one trauma center in Cincinnati. Really the same designation as Grady is. Yeah, I talked with a local cardiologist. She's not DeMar Hamlin's doctor, but she says that what likely happened to him is very rare. Doctors only see this type of cardiac event maybe 30 times per year. You saw how bereaved they were and concerned about this. Players and fans alike in disbelief as Buffalo defensive back DeMar Hamlin collapses on the field just moments after a tackle. And the way they hovered around him so that the cameras couldn't see him and protected him from that. It requires immediate intervention. The Monday night football game live on national television. Medics seen performing CPR on Hamlin for nearly 20 minutes, managing to restore his heartbeat before he's loaded into an ambulance. Dr. Jane Morgan, a cardiologist Cardiologist at Piedmont Health here in Atlanta says signs indicate that Hamlin, who's only 24 years old, suffered a sudden cardiac arrest. It is being stopped because of an electrical malfunction in the heart, an electrical malfunction that can be caused by any number of things. In this case, we are postulating that it may be caused by that blow to the chest. Seconds count when responding to this type of rare cardiac arrest because oxygen is no longer flowing to your brain. Dr. Morgan says Hamlin, who's currently sedated and listed in critical condition, has a long road to recovery. The next thing will be to see if he starts to have some responses, whether he's neurologically intact. And sometimes that can take a few days. Hamlin's family out with a statement asking that in these next few days, members of the NFL and fans come together to pray for their family. Two different teams who were playing each other hard enough that that could happen, yet they came together when it, they were no longer two different teams. They were one united team. We should also note that the NFL has what they call an emergency action plan. So when a player is hurt the way that Hamlin was, they're brought to a level one trauma center. If that were to happen here, they would be brought to this trauma center, Grady Memorial, the only level one trauma center in Atlanta. We're in Atlanta. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First.